If you've never heard of the tragic city rollers, you're not alone. I think that we need to get the word out, especially because there are so many people who want to join a sport and don't know as an adult that you have this option to join something that's as fun as this. Five seconds. Fun and action packed. So here's the basics. There are two teams of five consisting of four blockers and a jammer. The jammer's job is to get around the opposing team's blockers. When the jammer passes them, that's a point. This is the adult team. Who are we? There's also a junior's team. One, two, three, troublemakers! 16-year-old Claudia Williams has been at it for about five years. I think a lot of people are intimidated if they like feel like they don't know how to skate well enough or if they're like, I'm afraid I'm going to get hit or something. But really, it's not as aggressive as people feel like it is. Like, there's no, there's no punching. No one's, like, swinging fists. Slam calls derby the most inclusive sport out there. The good thing about roller derby is that it is very body accepting, body inclusive. You don't have to have the right size of body um, to be able to play this sport. We have a lot of LGBTQIA identifying uh, members, um, and that includes um, women, but also gender non-conforming individuals, which is super important um, in a sport, especially nowadays. Our sport, you know, doesn't discriminate based on, based on gender, and, and I think that's really important. The Tragic City Rollers are always looking for new players. There's no age limit, and believe it or not, you don't even have to know how to skate to join this team. I did not skate growing up. I did not know how to turn around or skate backwards or stop or any of those things. They were all taught to me and it took a while to learn them, but now I'm, I'm really good at what I do. In Hoover, Lisa Crane, WVTM 13 Chronicle.